how to get a DUI pardon in Canada, part two. That's what I'm going to cover in this video. I'm Dan Joffe, lawyer at Next Law, Canada's only law firm dedicated to pardons and U.S. waivers. Let's get your application done right. Let's get it done at a reasonable cost. This video is part two of how to get a DUI pardon in Canada. If you haven't watched part one, I've included a link in the description below. In this video, I go into the details of getting your Canadian DUI pardon and stick around to the end where I go into detail about completing the hardest part of the DUI pardon application. Let's get started. One, get your criminal record. Your criminal record is required because it confirms to the Parole Board of Canada that you have a DUI conviction for which you are seeking a DUI pardon. Your first step to being granted a DUI pardon in Canada starts with getting your criminal record. You need to get your fingerprints taken from any police service or an accredited fingerprinting company to get your criminal record. Your fingerprints will be electronically submitted to the Royal Canadian Mounted Police and make sure that you clearly state you are applying for a DUI pardon on your fingerprinting application. Two, get your court information. Your court information will help the Parole Board of Canada know whether you were eligible to get your DUI pardon. You need to go to the court where you were convicted of your DUI. You need to get that court to complete a court information form. This form confirms whether your DUI was prosecuted as a summary offense or an indictable offense and confirms whether you have paid your fines in full. Three, get your local police checks. At this stage, you need to prove to the Parole Board of Canada that you've stayed out of legal trouble. You prove this by getting a local police record check for every place you've lived for the past five years. The police need to complete a local police records check form. Police will provide all information related to any incident they are involved in, including provincial convictions and charges. And the police will record any convictions that may have been missing from your criminal record. Four, include original police and court documents, not copies. Make sure you follow the instructions on the Parole Board of Canada's website very closely. It's very important that you send the original documents from the courts and the police, which have the original signatures and seals. Finally, make sure you photocopy everything before you mail the application so you have a backup for future reference. Five, this is the hardest part of the DUI pardon application in Canada. If you committed your DUI on or after June 29, 2010, you need to answer questions about your rehabilitation. The Parole Board of Canada is looking for you to describe how receiving a DUI pardon would provide you with a measurable benefit and how your DUI pardon would sustain your rehabilitation into society as a law-abiding citizen. Answering these questions is hard. It can be upsetting because you are reliving a difficult time in your life, but you have to do it. Our law firm helps our clients with this difficult part of the DUI pardon application process. Here's what we tell them. Don't rush this important part of your DUI pardon application. Take your time to do it right. Be honest, be thoughtful, and finally, write in your own words. Do not get someone to write this for you. The Parole Board of Canada will pick that up and may reject your application. Finally, the biggest success factor in getting your pardon or U.S. waiver is getting your application right. Mistakes will cost you time and in some cases, rejection. We are Canada's only law firm dedicated to pardons and U.S. waivers. Let's get your application done right for a reasonable cost. Click on the link below to schedule a free, no obligation call.